fuel system upgrade with a surge tank. Today it's Friday, October 7, 2022. All right, <clears throat> where are we? Ah, before, before I continue with that, yesterday I removed the methylene pump from where they installed it before. I want to show you something. It's important. All right, first thing first, right? I remove the methylene pump from this point. There was only three bolts, all right? Here there was not a bolt. There was specific these three bolts, all right? And this is a foam. Understood? Yeah. Now, the uh, methylene pump, it weights something like a kilo, almost. Might be a little bit lighter, all right? This before, it was approximately at this point here. So my question to you, do you know, there was, it's missing the rear seats by the way, the, the back of the rear seats. So do you know how much it weights, the methylene pump, at 60 km per hour, let us say, when you come to a dead stop from 60 to 0, let us say, and the methylene pump is located here, in the same line where is the driver, without the rear seats. So if something happened, you think that this foam and these three bolts and the foam are going to be able to hold the pump in place if you come from 60 to 0 suddenly? I doubt. I doubt. I'm going to show you later on this. Now, second thing that I don't forget, one second to show you. I'm going to repeat it again. I think that I already mentioned before, just because somebody placed a comment and he mentioned that you need to have the overflow open, something like that. Nope. Listen up. Simply. The overflow is going to be plugged in, it's going to be blocked here, and the return is going to be here, not in the main fuel tank. You like it or you don't like it, if it comes to you, you can connect it with a different way. All right, and then let me know if it's going to work or not. The overflow is going to be uh, blocked, it's going to be closed, and the return is going to end up here. You like it or you don't like it, that's what it is. Again, well, I'm going to repeat again. It's not the first surge tank that I'm installing. I have installed surge tank with integrated pumps, with pumps inside, and with the pumps external. All right, you want to connect with your way, feel free, connect with you, you with your way. Then, then, let me show you what I did. I get a tool like this, this is 20 millimeters, and then I get this one, this is 6 millimeters, and you can see still inside, all right. And I cut this tube. All right, I get a tube from a tire shop, and you see here, You'll ask me, oh, why? Why you did that, right? Let's go inside of the engine room to see why. This is for the vibrations, mostly. All right. So that's what it is. All right. And this is the bigger one. I need only one. I, I cut extra. There is no problem. All right. That's for the vibrations and don't start rubbing the plate on the body. All right. Then I made some uh, threads. This will gonna be. I'll gonna show you later with the threads. Let me. Yes, this, these studs, you're gonna supposed to be welded from down of the plate, so you're gonna be able to see only the threads, nothing more, nothing less. And there are for the two brackets for the two units that has over there, and you're gonna be also four pieces for the uh, metal uh, pump that will gonna be an M6, not M5. It's supposed to come with M5, M5 M6 has more tight fit and it's much more stronger if you like <clears throat> then what is this and this this one this piece you gonna be like that on the methylene tank all right this piece is gonna be on the side like this all right through these two holes this will gonna be glued on the plate by this glue, fine. Through this one, this will gonna be welded on the plate. Ah, come on. This will gonna be welded on the aluminum plate. Then it's gonna be the rubber, and then we're gonna have this. So it's gonna end up inside here, and has the correct width, if you like, the correct height here, to be not fully squeezed and destroy, let us say, or close the tank for the space that's giving from the plate with the rubber to the tank 
and from here you're coming with one nut Mercedes nut by the way and you're bolting it in it's a steady point all right this is to dress the plate all around I already show you that earlier let me show you the plate outside and where it goes this okay back at the car now this one is gonna end up to be welded yeah has there they were supposed to be welded from back obviously it's not being cleaned all right you see that's been spot welded it's not been fully welded the wiring there for the g sensor is gonna pass on top not from down fine uh, then that that was i was talking about what uh, can you please come here? You, you rem ah, you didn't weld it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Here it's touching. Yeah. All right. At much spot. All right. You're gonna bend it with a way to don't touch. Fine. Yeah. So I don't want to touch on the car. I don't want to scratch the car by any means. Okay. Fine. If you have to, make another bracket. Okay. I okay. believe yes. Make it a little bit shorter. You're gonna be fine. Okay. So. You fix the inner one, one, two, three, four. The fifth we said to bypass it because very near. Can you tell him to stop for one minute? No. All right, we are moving on. Here will be the ground. All right, that at this point we're not gonna have a rubber down. All the rest are gonna have a rubber for the vibrations. And the same thing under of this. This will gonna be all right. This it's one centimeter higher, and we need a clearance for the wiring under of this uh, here where it's passing the wire we might make one cut to be to don't be squeezed don't be under stress the wiring to don't rubbing on the plate the plate like i said gonna be dressed all the way around with a rubber at the end for protection so man you can go ahead and continue just only take care about the brackets like i said to don't yeah. touch anywhere yeah. all right fully weld here on the corners fully weld here all right all over the place to be fully weld very good do you have the plastic nut that i gave you yesterday i put here before going home i don't know who take one second okay let's find out one second one second all right the plastic nut perfect since it's passing through the hole you are good what i need i want to be level that means you can get a reference let us say from the car from the body oh, you can put a leveler here up all right yeah. like this or like this and i want to be exactly the same offset as it is the car right now all right i don't want to be tilted like this or like this fine that's the plan now you can continue all right okay. we need to finalize this we cannot this is only the beginning this is only just to support the suit thing you know so we have even more like i said yesterday you're gonna cut one triangle mm -hmm. here fill and the yes fill the gap here weld it sand it to be nice and smooth yeah all right and at the end uh, we don't have a corners no we don't have a corners beautiful okay yes no i was saying that if there was any corner we might make it smooth to be able to dress it you know the with the rubber all right perfect thank you very much good job well done move on thank you all right back inside the engine room now what do we have we have two piece for one bracket for one unit all right another two piece for the other bracket this one's more thick and where have the other one ah the other one's on the lathe i keep it there and this one leave it outside yeah dang it one second bring it in okay these two it's for the metal tank fine these two it's for one bracket these two it's for the other bracket they're gonna come up on the units and we're gonna secure it down and we're gonna have not this kind of rubber we're gonna have the tube I'm gonna cut one nice piece to don't be visible and to just hold down the unit to don't uh, go away. Uh, I need to make another two of those and another three nuts for the uh, methylene pump. Plus I need another one for the relay. Let's go at the lathe to finish this. Let, let me get this as a sample because it's much faster instead of measuring all the time. It doesn't have to be so much precise. Digital calibers. This one for to make it's an M6 by one to make the threads, <coughs> and we are on the lathe. 1,155 automatic. All right. Let me see that the chalk it's been secured, and then 
let's work on that to finalize also this and move on small update small update it's 10 minutes and to continue just this is just the beginning like i said it's just the beginning the bracket to support the short tank then you have the pipes you have the wiring you have a million things plus the wiring that has the, on the in the trunk from before that's been messed they didn't take care about the uh, they didn't take care about the wiring and I need also a plate plywood very thin plywood to dress it with a Carpet if you like with uh, this fiber uh, fiber how it's called now in English my English To be dressed to looks like that's belong to the car I Need more. This is nothing. This is just the beginning Thank you. Have a nice day. I mentioned the day today, right? Today's Friday. Yeah, Friday 7 of October. Yeah Thank you.